What's going on, iPhone users? Have you ever uh, wondered in the back of your head, you'd be like, hey, I need some really cool ringtones on my iPhone, and I don't want to pay for them on iTunes. I already have some on my iTunes, but I don't want to buy any ringtones because I already have music. Well, this is a cool little video to show you how to make them for free. Yes, I found out the other day, I was reading through a bunch of texts online, and it was really confusing, so I'm going to make a really short tutorial about how to do it real easy. Now if you're thinking, hey, I ain't got an iPhone, this video isn't for you. And if you're thinking, hey, I'd rather buy them on iTunes, eh, you're clearly rich and this video isn't for you. But anyways, you can make them for free on iTunes. It's super easy. Open up iTunes and let's find a cool little song to go as a ringtone. American Head Charge. Yes. Seamless, awesome song. Let's listen. Clearly badass. Clearly badass. Okay, now what you want to do, select the song, right click, go to Get Info. Now you'll see some tabs up here in Get Info. Summary Info, Video, Sorting, Options. Go to Options. Click on Options. Now here, Start Time and Stop Time. This is the key to it. Since I just want to make a 30 second ringtone, it's real easy to do. You can set your start time at any time and the stop time at any time. Recommended, I think the limit is 45 seconds, but a phone call is not going to last that, song, that long because of your voicemail pickup. You want to do it around 30 seconds, 35 seconds. You can run over, just not over 45 seconds. Start time, zero. Stop time. Now here you can change this to anything you want, really. Sorry, you probably can't see that. 30 seconds, 0.44 milliseconds. Yeah, that's good. Why not? Hit OK. Now when you do that, click on it and listen to it. Make sure it's what you want. It started. And it shouldn't go over the start time. Yeah, that's what I want. OK. Now from this, it's real easy. Right click again and find create, create AAC version should only take a second. Since it's only 30 seconds long, it's way shorter. I recommend making it short first, then doing it, because it's a lot faster when you make that version. Now here, this is going to be the ringtone, the 30 second clip. Right click. Easier way to find it. You can go through your music and find it in iTunes music and everything, but the best way for me to do it is right click. Show in ex Windows Explorer. You click on that, it automatically finds it. Super fast shortcut. There it is clearly. Now here's a little clue. Just drag it straight from here since that's going to be a ringtone. Put it on your desktop. See? You can copy it, but you might as well just drag it because you're going to have to delete it in just a second. See? There it is. But from here, you're going to have to rename it. See where it says Seamless. You probably can't see that, but it says seamless one dot m4a. You want to change m4a to m4r because that's the format for ringtones. Just right click on it and go to rename. See it? Rename. Now from here you can do it. You can go into properties and do it. You might as well just rename it. Boom. Change that a to a r. Boom. Bow. Boom, super easy. Now when you hit enter, it's going to give you this warning. If you change the, the name of the extension file, the file may become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? It's clearly saying it's not an M4A file anymore. It's an M4R file for ringtones. Just hit yes. Duh, that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I renamed it. Now, you can minimize this to get it out of your way. Now, from here, since you already changed it, go back to your iTunes. You see some ringtones already there. You can just click and drag it there. No big deal. You can drag it there. You can drag it here. It takes a second. And it's there. Okay. Now you see how they have that little exclamation point there? Clearly it's saying that file isn't there no more. Duh. I just moved it. So, might as well delete it. Delete. You want to remove it. Well, since... Since it's not already still in the extension 
folder where iTunes keeps its music, it doesn't give you that thing where it says keep file or just move to trash. It just says remove because there's no file there anyways. It's screwed up. So just hit remove. It takes it takes out a step. Okay, now the seamless that you changed alternately, go back to get info. Right click, get info, and go to options. Now here, just uncheck stop time and start time. Just uncheck it. So it goes back to the original song. And nothing's ever happened. No big deal. Let me show you how to do it from another point. You don't have to start at zero and just go to 30 seconds. You can start in the middle of the song and get, you can get the, um, yeah, let's do Beck. You can do like the chorus or something like that. Um, with Beck, I guess, let's go to, um, let me think of a decent song I even do. Hey, all Loser. Loser by Beck. It's a good song. Yeah, that song. And I know the uh, chorus is around 256, something like that. I'm a driver, I'm a winner. Yeah, where I want to cut it, it's right at 256, basically. So what I want to do there, get info. Options. 256. Eh, let's put 0.5 so it starts at half a second into it. And I know about where I wanted to exit it is at 345. Because I already listened to it before this video. So, yeah, I kind of already cheated there. But, yeah, let's listen to it just to make sure that's what you want. Things are going to change, guys. Also, a cool little tip that always helps me. When you're in the get info, you can edit at the same time. Like... You can play it. Feel it. You can go to get info. That way, if you forget, you know, what's the end point, you can just watch up here. And then you'll see. You're like, oh, okay, this point. No big deal. And then from there, follow the same steps. It's pretty self-explanatory. You already did the get, get info thing. So, basically, create it. Double A C version, and it's done. Well, that little ding means it's done. Right click, show Windows Explorer. And from here, you see it right there, the M4A version. Drag it to your desktop. Just left click, hold, and drag it. Boom. Notice that version's gone now, so it takes out a step. Then from here, just rename it. It's already wanting to rename. See, rename the M4A to M4R. No big deal. What's that say? Oh. Yeah, it does that check thing. What's that say? If you can read this, you're too close. Huh. Anyways. And then you can uh, listen to it and make sure it's. Things are going to change, Jack. Yeah, that's it. And then you just drag it, left click, hold, and drag it to your ringtone. Boom, it's adding it. Thank you. And then don't forget to go back to get info, options, and uncheck start time and stop time. And that's how you get some really cool ringtones with your own music for free. And then from there, you just uh, pretty much plug in your iPhone and let it sync up. You should know how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos if you want to. Peace!